So good morning or good afternoon students. Welcome to Jack 1, Understanding the Self. So for this discussion, we are going to continue what we have discussed last meeting. So now let's proceed to lesson 2, the self from the sociological perspective. So, at the end of this discussion, you are going to identify the so sociological perspectives about the self, demonstrate critical and reflective thinking in showing different aspects of the self, and examine yourself using Charles Horton Collie's Looking Glass Self Theory. So, we have here the three sociological perspectives. The first one is George Mead for his theory, The Social Self. And then we have Charles Coley, The Looking Glass Self. And the last one is Irving Goffman, which is Constructing Situations and Drama. So according to George Mead, the self is born of society. The self is inseparable from society and bound up with communication. It builds on social experience. This is largely a matter of taking the role of other with increasing sophistications, broadening out from significant others to greater complexity. So meaning to say, the self is cannot be inseparable from the society. So we build ourselves from the society that we have. So the self is created through social interactions and in the end it is all started from the beginning or when the child knows or learn how to say language. So the self is the human capacity to be reflective and to take the role of others. So the self learn from the social experiences and it involves communication and the exchange of symbols like for example uh, sa una ganagamit na to ang number sign in um, having a call or uh, when we write numbers but today we use number sign in the hashtag diba like sa to ang facebook so mag kung mag hashtag ta then maluki, makita na din na to ang mga uh, event na same sila or unsa ang event ka na yung gamit na hashtag okay? so that is what we call the exchange of symbols and then it is where people create meaning so to understand intention you must imagine the situation from another people, uh, person's point of view by taking the role of other the self is reflective and reflexive. So, the self need to know the point of view of others so that he knows what are the things that he needs to be reflect. What are the things that he needs to reflect for herself. So, according to Mead's theory, there are stages in the development of the self. So the first stage is the preparatory stage. So it is where the child or the children mimic or imitate others. Like for example, diba, if we teach the child how to uh, close open her hands, so we tag close open and then the child also uh, imitate what we are going to teach from them. So the next stage is the play stage. So, it is where the child pretend to play the role of a particular or a significant other. Particular or significant other are the perspectives and particu particular rule that a child learns and internalize. Like, for example, uh, di ba kita sa una kay mag-play, magtao mga bahay-bahayan, and then may yung din tanga, okay, ikaw ang mama, ikaw ang papa, so i-appoint din nato itong mga kaoban. So that is what we call pretend to play the role of a particular or significant other. So that is a play stage. 
The third stage is game stage. So it is where the children play organizes game and take on the response, uh, perspectives of the generalized others. So it is where the children play a team game and their game depends on the perspective of the group. Generalized other is the perspectives and expectations of a network of others that a child learns and then takes into account when shaping his or her own behavior. Like, for example, uh, nung bata pa tayo, diba, sinasabihan tayo na, oh, kung ikaw, babae ka, dapat ganito ka, dapat ganito ka pumorma, dapat ganito ka mag, mag-ayos, dapat ganito ka magsalita, or dapat ganito ka, ga, dapat ganito ang ginagawa mo. So, di ba? And then, kapag lalaki ka, dapat ganito naman ang uh, inayos mo or ganito naman ang ginagawa mo. So, that is what are the perspective of others when it comes to the male and the female perceptions. Okay? So, it is believed that there is a dual nature of the self. The I, which is the subject, and then the me, which is the object. The I is... The part of yourself where you want private, so you don't, uh, you want privacy, and then the me is the part of yourself wherein you want to be socialized with the other person. So, di ba? Sometimes we experience that within yourself na gusto ka o sahay ka nang ikaw na mag-inasara huwag kayo pagkialam sa uban and then usahay po gusto po kang nga magkipaghalubhilo sa ubang mga tao so that is the dual nature of the self so we have here the looking glass self theory by Charles Coley so according to him one sense of self depends on seeing oneself reflected in interactions with the others so Charles Coley have the same idea with George Meads because they were once a colleagues before. So, in looking glass self refers to the notion that the self develops through our perception of others, evaluation, and appraisal of us. So, kung ano yung sinasabi ng ibang tao sa atin, yun yung pinapangkita natin sa kanila. Like, for example, in this uh, picture, if the parent of the girl says that the girl is very um, good then that's how he perceive or yun yung ipinapakita ng bata sa kanya sa kanyang ina and then if the teacher tell that the girl in his class is um, very talkative or very naughty then yun yung ipinapakita ng bata sa kanya sa loob ng klase and then, if the friends of the girl tell her that she is a loving and caring person, then that's how, or at yan yung bagay, yun yung mga bagay na pinapakita ng babae sa kanyang mga kaklase. Another example is we have here a picture of a girl wherein her parents sees her as a good or angelic person and then how her college friend sees her as a cool person and how her boss sees her as a masungit na babae and then how her online friend sees her as a bad person so this is what we call the looking glass self and so in looking glass self we imagine how we appear to other people and we imagine how other people judge the appearance that we think we present and if we think the evaluation is favorable our self-concept is enhanced and if we think the evaluation is unfavorable our self-concept is diminished so the third perception is constructing situations and drama by Irving Goffman according to him people routinely behave like actors on a stage Everyday social life become theoretical and there are rules, scripts, and actions. Daily life as a series of stagecraft rules. So why does he say so? Okay, so like for example in this picture. So this is how we are going to interact with other people 
if we see them in an immediate presence of the other. So it is believed that meaning is constructed through interaction. So the dramaturgy refers to how we act or the rules that we take on on that present situation. And then uh, that uh, society or the community that we are in is what we call the audience. In the presentation of the self in everyday life, Buffman argues that people are concerned with controlling how others view them. A process is he called impression management. So there are two presentations in constructing ourselves in the social interactions, the front stage and the back stage. The front stage refers to uh, ito, ito yung mga bagay na pinapak magagandang mga bagay na pinapakita natin sa ati, sa mga taong kaharap natin. And then, ang backstage is ito yung taliwasa sa ginagawa natin sa mga tao na kaharap natin. According to Irving Goffman, each definition of a situation lends itself to a different approach and the consequences are real. The self is a social construction depends on the situation.